Hello everyone! In the previous video, we created this animated character who can walk left and right and jump. In this video, I will show you how to make him move and jump with UI buttons if you are making a game for Android platform. So, here is our previous project that is made for PC standalone platform. First of all, we need to switch it to Android platform. Go to File, Build Settings, select Android and hit Switch Platform button. After a few seconds, our project should be switched to Android. Screen orientation is changed to portrait by default, so let's set it back to landscape by changing aspect ratio here. Let it be 16 by 9. Ok, now as we are going to have some UI buttons here, let's bring our ground up a bit. Like that. Next, to make it possible to move our character with UI buttons on Android platform, we need to import cross-platform input package, which is a part of Unity standard assets. Go to asset store and type standard assets into search field. Here it is. As it's shown here, I downloaded it before. So, if I scroll down a bit, then here I have import button. If you don't have it downloaded, then here will be download button. So first it has to be downloaded. When it's done, hit import button. Wait until it's decompressed. Here it is standard assets package. Here are a lot of useful stuff, but we don't need all of it in our case. So let's collapse these two main folders and then check both of them. Now let's check in what do we need actually. Expand standard assets. Collapse 2D. Collapse cameras. Collapse characters. Here is what we need. Cross-platform input. Check it in and collapse it. One more thing we need here is cross-platform input folder from editor section. Check it in. That's all we need for our project. Hit import. After a few seconds we have it imported. Here it is. If you use some later version of Unity, like I do, then you may get some warnings about obsolete functions. It's not that important in our case, so you can just clear these warnings. Ok, now let's create move and jump buttons. Here I have some pin files with button images, so I select them and drag and drop them into my art folder. There we go. Now we have sprites for our buttons. Let's create UI buttons at last. First I create UI canvas and set its scale mode to scale with screen size so our UI elements will be scaled depending on screen size of particular mobile device. Next, right click on canvas and create new UI button. I rename it as button left. Modify its width and height so it becomes a square. And clear its text field, we don't need it. Then duplicate this button twice pressing Ctrl plus D keys and rename these two buttons as button right and button jump. Anchor button left at bottom left holding Alt plus Shift keys. Do the same for right button. Double click button right to focus on it and shift its position to the right from the button left. Like that. Focus on button jump and anchor it at bottom right holding Alt plus Shift keys. Now let's decorate our buttons a bit. Select left button and drag and drop left button sprite into source image slot of image script component. Do the same for button right and button jump, adding corresponding sprites to them. Very nice. Now it's time to use standard assets to make our buttons work. Expand standard assets folder, then expand cross platform input and then expand scripts folder. Here for right and left buttons we need to use axis touch button script. Add the script to button left and to button right. Select left button. Here in axis touch button script component, axis name will be horizontal, axis value will be negative 1 as its left button and response speed and return to center speed should be set to greater values so button will work correctly. Same for button right with only difference that axis value will be positive 1 as its button right. Jump button needs another script to work. It is button handler script. Add the script to button jump. Select button jump. Here in button handler script component, we should modify its name. It will be jump with capital J letter. Also jump button needs one more component, which is event trigger. Add one to this button. Here in this component, click add new event type and select pointer down option. Here we need to add new function by hitting plus sign. Then drag and drop our jump button into reference object field, like so and select new function here from button handler which will be set down state. Then add new event type, this time it will be pointer up. 
button jump is already added here, so all we need to do is to select the function from button handler, which is set up state in this case. That's it, our buttons are ready to work. Last thing we need to modify is our character script, because it was designed for PC platform. But here are not too many things to be changed. First one is that we need to use new library, which is Unity standard assets dot cross platform input. Second thing is that we no longer need to read keyboard buttons input. Instead of that, we use cross platform input manager class here with direction x variable, which is responsible for movement, and here in jumping function. That's it. Don't forget to save the script. We are done. Now we can hit play and check out how it works in editor, and we can create an Android APK file and play our game on mobile device. Here is how it works on mine. Hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.